Hello everyone, Conius here. Today I'm playing a game I just downloaded on Steam called Fireworks Mania. It's a fireworks simulator. It's a little on the primitive side. It doesn't have, for instance, an ability to save your fireworks and some other things. I suspect the developer will add to it. I think it just recently came out. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll start on the town. Okay, and it unfortunately it doesn't use the Xbox controller, so it'll all be mouse and keyboard here. Um, um, if you click left stick, it's going to drop the thing and then physics will cause it to fall on the ground. But if you, um, let's see, can I do this? Yeah, if you hit right stick, or sorry, right mouse button, then it will stand up wherever you put it. So we'll do that. Um, I'm going to back up. I want to kind of line these up a little bit. I oh, see that one. I hit the wrong button. So what I can do is leave that one on the ground. Go back to placing the strobilicious rockets. So put one. Okay, I'll just keep the spacing even. Put one there. Try to keep them lined up. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Let's do uh, right mouse button. That was a little far away, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. And I oh, get the wrong button. I have to get used to that. Okay. All right. So once you've got the fireworks placed. Then what you do is you link them up with fuse, and you can choose the speed by changing the mouse wheel. So you've got uh, 100 meter or 1,000 meters per second, uh, 5 meters per second, 1 meter per second, 0.25 meters per second. So I'll do uh, let's let's do 1 meter per second. This should cause these to go off about once a second, I think. So you just click on these. All right, you have to go a little closer. All right, so one thing that would be nice at this point would be to be able to set them off now because they've got this set of, you know, they've got this fuse coming towards me. But there isn't any ability right now to actually light it. So what you have to do is go to your inventory. Oops. Go to your tools and pick ignite tool, and then you have to go light one of them. So a workaround I found for that is to pick a firecracker of some kind, and I'll just uh, come back to where I'm going to be and put that on the ground. Again, there's no way to save and then you know rerun the thing, which is sad. It'd be nice to be able to save and load. <laughs> Alright, well we can get rid of these just by setting them off. Wow, that's kind of fun. <laughs> Alright, let's do a couple more of these. Poor thing. Can't even get started. Alright. So let's try something else. Uh, how about I go into the center here and let's just place some cakes. So I'm going to start with... Uh, I don't know, Popper Boy. Try that. Uh, last one? Okay. Uh, Alright, don't want to do that yet. What I want to do now is go over here, place my starting firework, whatever that will be. Let's see, let's try a novelty item, a Screaming Pal. 
And I'll set him up in the air and hook him up to his fuse. And we're good to go. Alright, let's give it a shot. Because that was a piccolo peed. It was kind of short lived. This is very slow fuse. I think once this gets going, though, it's going to be pretty dramatic. This is sort of your typical, you know, fireworks fuse, I guess. Uh, boy, that's taking a long time. You click on the middle button. Just three? Okay. Alright, that's gonna take too long, so I can actually go over and just uh I can probably light the fuse right here. You can't light the fuse, okay, I can light the item. There we go. Okay, so it would have been better if I cooked them all up to go off at the same time. Alright, let's try a different cake. 2021, okay. Don't know what that's going to do exactly. Okay, but I'll set them up, I'll line them up here. And set them to go off at the same time. I think uh, maybe one more. Alright, get some fuse and let's go to the instant kind. Actually, before I do that, let me place my starting item. Uh, my cola candle, whatever that is. Let's back up. Alright, forgot to do the right button, but that's fine. And so we're going to take that and connect it up. I'm going to see if I can connect, connect them all. Actually, this is instant debt cord, so it shouldn't actually matter. I was going to say, you know, hook them all up to the back to the firework. I'm not sure it even supports multiple connections. Okay, go back to the lighter. All right, and let's see what happens. not expecting all that. I guess those are in the shape of 2021 if you look at them from the right angle. Okay, that was fun. All right, let's go over here and do some other kind of a firework. How about more rockets? Let's try a different kind of rocket. Um, let's try the Viper. In fact, maybe what I should do is just set up a bunch of them here. So there's the Viper. Viper 2. Gotta remember to hit the right stick. Uh, Fear of the Dark. They uh, just stand up wherever you put them and not obeying physics at this point. Okay, strobing bob. So I'm trying to place some oops, I'm trying to place them close to the ground if I can. Shoot boy. Red. Okay. Shoot blue, green, and purple, blue. Okay, we'll do amazing granny. Looks like there were a couple of Amazing Grannies. Be nice if it was easier to kind of line these up in a, on a grid or something. Like have a snap to grid. Okay, I think that's enough. Let me pick another starting firework. P 
QD pew, okay. Uh, I want to be back a ways for this. All right, so the mistake I made last time was having the fuse be the quick kind coming from my local firework. It really needs to be the very slow kind, so we have time to watch. I don't know if we want it to be that slow, though. Let's try medium. And I meant to do a different fuse on these ones, but we'll try this. We'll see how this works. Uh, that one, and then finally the one on the ground. As a finale. I think we're ready to give this a shot. nice. Here we go. Okay, a lot of noise. I didn't see a lot of light from some of them. All right, let's try something else. How about uh, how about novelties? Okay, so how about a bunch of insane screamers? All right, and quicker dead cord. thinking this is going to sound like a symphony or something. And in this case, I'll just light one of them. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. Q, lighter. Okay, well that was, that was cute. Let's see what else. Tubes. Again, uh, let's try. What is? I haven't. I've not seen this one yet. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. I think these will just sit if I place them. In fact, to make this more interesting, let's set another row of different kinds here. and a third row. And finally, something to detonate back here. A Mo stick, whatever that is. Okay, so we want the, not the slowest, but let's say medium. That was still a little on the slow side. I'll do fast here. Um, so that's the first connection. And then after that, let's go instant. And I'll just sort of crisscross these things randomly. hoping to connect all of them. Okay, I think that's everything. Looks like there's a line coming from each, oh, maybe not this one, okay. Can I connect that to another one? Like, oh, you can make multiple connections. Okay, well, that's good. Well, if that's the case, then maybe make this more interesting by cross-connecting some of these. I don't know if it'll make a difference, so it's instant cord. 
and in fact, because of the instance, probably all this crisscrossing won't make any difference, but we'll see. Okay, we'll switch back to lighter and come back to my Mo stick or whatever this was. Oh, that was pretty. Oh, did they just all go off at the same time? Okay, I guess they did. All right, well. Yep, that's uh, using the wrong kind of fuse. All right, let's try something else here. Um, kind of fascinated by the cakes. Okay, dragon battery. I don't know what a dragon battery is. Mozzie, whatever that is. Okay, put that way back there. All right, and get to fusing. So not the instant kind, I'll do the fast kind. In fact, I will start in the middle. Go to there, and to there, and back and forth. I think it's tiny. Let's see. It's a little hard to connect up to it. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's give this a shot. That was the dragon battery. I wonder if that means uh, in that way because it looks like a battery. Kind of looks like a battery. We were, we did the popper boy before. That was kind of boring. Let's try the shot the shogun crackler. Okay, and then wand of wizard. Whatever that is. I'm going to see if I can go further away because <clears throat> we're going to want to be back here to see this. And actually, I want a standing one. All right. Okay, so we'll go with medium to start. And I think I'll just stick with medium the whole time. And I'm going to go left to right. a shot. Uh, oh, okay. I was going to say that it, but then now it's doing some more stuff. Okay, well that was kind of interesting. Not the most spectacular. Let's try something else here. The messenger. Okay. Okay, I've got a bunch of these things placed. Let's fuse these up. Uh, maybe the fast kind this time. And I'll do kind of a crisscrossing pattern. Oh, there's one up here in the air, too. And finally, let's go set. Uh, oh, you know, still a thing here. And we'll just go ahead and use that later.
Wow, well that became quite thunderous. That was pretty satisfying. There they go disappearing. Alright, let's try something else. Um, here we have a convenience store with gas pumps, with clocks on them for some reason. Alright. And we have these propane tanks. So what if we place some of these around? Just a little getting used to placing items. Let's see, push that a little further away. Cause what I wanted to do was surround this gas tank with propane cans and then go from there. Alright, so those are there. Uh, these you can't link up. I mean, obviously they don't have fuses, so they're not going to link up. Uh, you can light them, however. In fact, I'll demonstrate that. I'm sure they won't mind their truck being demolished. Okay, put that down here. Get the lighter tool out, and if you hold that there, it will eventually start burning. And it should explode, I believe. <laughs> yes, okay, yeah, their truck was definitely demolished. Oh, wow. All the stuff across the street went off, too. Uh, I'm surprised by that. I guess sympathetic explosions. And other stuff's going off, too. What? Oh, you know, I left a few of those out and they got set off. I didn't expect one exploding propane tank to do this much damage. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel slightly bad about this. Uh, this convenience store is destroyed. Well, I think the thing to do, there's only one remedy uh, at this point. So let's see if I can take care of that. Uh, where am I going? Nice if it supported the Xbox controller. Okay, I assume I can get in here somehow. Can I hit? Yeah, I can jump. All right, cool. Let's um, jump across. All right, I should be able to go into the convenience store now. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to fill up this place with some things. So some amazing grannies, some shoot boys, covers, a whole bunch of different kinds of covers, whatever those are. And they're all labeled the same, I guess they just have different, different colors. Fear of the dark. A few of these, a few of those. Okay. Um, and then some tubes of various kinds. And maybe some suspended in the air. Mr. Beats. Um, all right. And then some firecrackers. Things are kind of starting to move around on their own over here, and that's interesting. Kind of hoping they don't spontaneously get set off. Okay, a couple of firecrackers. A couple of a different kind. Little itty bitty ones. Oh, you know what? The. Uh, Stuff inside the store is kind of coming apart. Interesting. Underweight, I guess. Male toes. That's a strange name for a. I guess it takes off your toes. Let's better step back. 
Uh, maybe we could use some cakes. These were pretty impressive. In fact, I'm gonna go to the other part of the store. Well, that's as far as I can get, I guess. Mm, nothing weighs anything, I guess. Okay. I'm not sure that's enough of those. Okay. Um, these were pretty good, obviously. Put some suspended. Alright. And I think I did put rockets already, right? So tubes. I did I think I did all these things. Alright. For the most part. Maybe well anyway. <laughs> the last thing to put in here was just a bunch of propane tanks. Oh look, they ended up inside. They don't like being inside. I wonder what that's gonna do. <laughs> they came out. That's funny. I'm not sure that's enough for propane things. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here now. Things are kind of moving around a lot on their own. I might not be able to get out. Um, Okay, there is a tool for moving things, so let me use that. Oops, not there. Q. I should be able to take things and drag them around, I guess. That is one very nervous freezer. The freezer has an idea of what's about to happen. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to see how far away can I be and set off a propane tank and have that whole place just go up in one big conflagration. So, uh, oh, we've got another one of those boxes over there too. So let's go ahead and place a propane tank. Let's switch to the lighter and Actually, there's a better way to do this, I think. Well, no. Hmm. Can't connect fuse up to them. So I'll just go ahead and light that from here. <laughs> Alright, so what happened last time was... Stuff exploded a little bit later. Maybe it was shrapnel or something. That didn't really seem to do much. Let's try closer. Alright, that didn't seem to do anything. Let's get over here a little closer. <laughs> Alright, so still it's just the singular explosion, so I think we're going to have to uh, get a tad more serious here. I think what I need to do... Hmm, Place a cake of some kind. Do the boom ones, why not? A couple of those. And a couple of propane tanks. And a firecracker. Over there. And some fuse. Okay, so we'll go instant. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this is enough. You can actually stand pretty far. If the firecracker lights up, then you can light it from here. Okay, there goes the fuse. Oh, something's happening. I'm 
not sure exactly what. But I don't think anything's happening on the inside. I also don't think the propane tanks exploded. Okay, I think I need something a little bit more powerful. Like a rocket. And I think that one was pretty good at shooting things. Um, oops. Strobilicious. And I'll put a few of these on the ground. And I'll just place one over here. Okay, I think the propane tanks went off. Now things are burning, so at least something happened. I don't think the stuff inside went off yet. Okay, yeah, I still see all that stuff inside, so... Um, we're going to have to get something in there a little closer. I don't think I could be damaged. I'm not a th person, I'm just a tool. Let's see. Alright, so from here, why don't we do this? Let's place some more of these strobes. One there. It will connect to some on the ground. And then I'm going to want to place one way over here somewhere. And maybe I will make these delayed from each other just to perhaps amplify the effects. Okay, I think those are all connected up. All right, let's see if we're finally going to get the explosion we're trying to get here. Light this and then get the hell back. thing to do is just to create a huge pile of propane tanks and set them off. destroyed. <laughs> <laughs>